Uh, happy first day of spring to you. Uh, and what better way to kick off spring than do a comparison on an H-pipe. Uh, I just recently got done doing an exhaust on old blue out there. And I have true three inch dual exhaust on it right now with knockoff flow masters. And I'm getting a lot of chatter out of the tailpipes uh, in like the higher RPMs. Kind of sounds like a glass pack or Terry Bomb style muffler. And I don't like that sound. So after doing some uh, research, uh, decided to put in an H pipe. So I spent the day yesterday making the parts that I needed for an H pipe. And while it's an extreme H pipe, it's gonna be like a modified cross between an H pipe and an X pipe uh, with these, the way that it flows in. But I have everything pretty much ready to go, uh, slip fit. But before we get into installing the H pipe, we gotta document the before. <clears throat> so we're gonna fire this up. It hasn't been running yet, so it's gonna be a cold start. And the goal here is to get a little bit of footage from before and after. Um, the vehicle in question is a 1986 Chevy Suburban, three quarter ton, with a 454. It's got the Quadrajet. Uh, I did a tune up on it. Got MSD wires, K&N filter, and the biggest upgrade was inch and three quarter primary headers. Uh, and then they run into a true three inch uh, exhaust. So other than that, it's uh, an all stock internal motor. I'm going to put the camera over here and we're going to fire it up cold. Uh, I'll edit, uh, I'll kind of edit it out a little bit so that way we'll go cold start to once it's warmed up, then we'll take it for a drive. And then I'll show you the chatter, pull it in the garage, swap out and make the changes necessary and then do a comparison uh, after all the work is done. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, it's time for me to challenge the build. So here we go.
better. All right, well that uh, wraps up the before H-pipe installed documentation. I'm gonna go eat lunch, let the truck cool down, uh, get involved in installing the H-pipe. You might see a little bit of that kind of wrapped up in this video, and then we'll document the after. So let's rock and roll. All right, after making the decision of not filming the process of installing the H-pipe, um, I just got it down off the jack stands and I really can't wait to start it up uh, because I'm impatient. It's not going to be as cold as it was this morning, so I can't really guarantee that it's going to have a choppy idle, but we have an H-pipe, so let's uh, start it up because I can't wait any longer. I want to see if there's a difference. So here we go. melts 
is the point where you would want to put it. Uh, it wasn't just an in, uh, H-pipe install for me today. Uh, previously, to having the H-pipe, I kind of modified how it came out of my header. This used to be one of the header uh, pieces, and it used to come directly out. You can just see how much of a hot spot this created. So I modified that as well. I made it come straight back out of the header about six to eight inches to get some velocity, and then use uh, 90 degree bends. So, unfortunately I don't have a, uh, time to take it out for a test drive right now, but I will have uh, a test drive in this video. But overall it's way smoother and uh, it sounds really good. difference. Oh man, I'm excited to drive it now. Uh, as far as all the parts that I used on this uh, exhaust, take a look in the description. Uh, three inch all the way back from header collector all the way back. I used uh, DNA mo motoring three inch mild steel tubing 16 gauge from Amazon and I used um, knockoff Flowmasters, Flow Shine, I think is what they are, center in, center out. Uh, all of the stuff that I use will be in the description below. Uh, Flow Tech headers is what I have up here, inch and three quarter primaries, so a three inch collector. And like I said, no uh, internal modifications. So phone stock, other than uh, new spark plugs, new wires, K and N filter, uh, and a new distributor cap. So that's going to be the end of. The update for right now uh, the next part you'll see is me out test driving it uh, shortly after dinner so big progress I love it all right let's uh, do an afternoon test drive cameras and microphones are all in the same spot Excuse me while I try to eliminate the rattle in my center console. Hopefully that does that trick. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit different test drive. There's
2,500 Suburbans in big blocks. I'll be back. Eighty-seven, eighty-nine, or ninety-three. Uh, we'll put a little ninety-three in her. We'll spoil her. She's been sitting a while. Oh no! I forgot. I need the key. Locking gas cap. What a joke. God, it's been that long. Four dollars and twelve cents a gallon. Oh my gosh. Do, do, do. Yeah, we'll put ten. Screw it. Bit large. Let her eat a little bit.
gauge pipe. I highly recommend it. Especially if you have an older vehicle. Big, big difference. Enjoyed it. I learned something. Hopefully you did too. Now you got to go out and challenge your build. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.